the CF450 MT for IBEX is one hefty bike. Its uh, weight is really high to be a small uh, adventure bike. And uh, there are some things we can do it. We can put aside that you probably added crash bars, auxiliary lights, maybe luggage, skid plates, hand guards, uh, things like that to increase the weight. And you might want to decrease it a bit. Now a lithium battery will do that. And uh, as you will see later on in the video, it's quite a substantial weight reduction. Now I thought I might as well upgrade the battery in my 890 Adventure R. Since the battery sits quite high in this bike, uh, the felt weight reduction will probably be, be greater than that of the CF Moto. So I bought these two batteries, uh, the Shido and the BS. This BS battery comes standard in a lot of Ducati models. And uh, this one is bought from the KTM shop. The first thing you should think about uh, when buying a new battery is uh, dimensions. Make sure your dimensions for the original battery is uh, the same as the new one. Or the new one could also be smaller. Next thing is the Positive and negative. Positive must be on the left side when facing towards you. It's actually the same on the KTM as on the CF Moto. The next big question is how many amp hours do you need? The original uh, CF Moto branded Dynavolt battery has 11.2 volt, uh, 12 volt, 11.2 amp. And my new Shido only have uh, Three amp hours. I went budget with this battery, 90 euro. It's still a lot of money, but uh, still cheap uh, as a lithium battery. Because with the higher amps comes higher costs and also higher weight. The cold crank ampere should be sufficient, and because lithium does not drop its voltage during discharge, it is more energy efficient and uh, it produces more watt hours than a lead battery with the same amp hours. Now three amp hours might be a little short when you add uh, some heated grips. You might want to charge your phone. You might want to add a GPS or heated gear. And then you're riding in difficult terrain where you stall the bike a lot and need to restart it. This will use a lot of power from the battery and uh, drain the battery a lot quicker. For the 890 I opted for this uh, 4 amp battery. A little bit higher, a little bit more expensive, 140 euros. Uh, we'll just have to see during 2025 if it's enough or... Um... Disconnect negative side first. If you uh, want to leave the bike uh, for winter, you can just leave it like this. That will uh, cut off any creeps or drain in the battery voltage systems. It's easier to just use a 10 millimeter socket. Don't lose all these small things. just attached before that with this rubber strap. It was well seated. It's like a rubber holder here. Maybe you can just remove this if you want to fit a larger battery. So now let's use this kitchen scale to do a simple weight measurement. That's the uh, original battery. This is the Shido lithium battery. 
773. That is three kilos difference. It's full charge. Now, as you can see, I have uh, this battery as well. It's a BS battery with uh, the 4 amp amps uh, power instead of the Shido with the 3 amp. You can see it is a lot smaller. That's why you receive these extra inlets to build up the space inside the battery compartment, make it fit. And you can also see that it weighs uh, like 200 grams more than the Shido battery. Are there any negatives then? You need a new charger because uh, your standard lead acid battery charger won't do it. Uh, it could charge it, but it could also damage the battery. The fire hazard, well, uh, the lithium ion batteries are usually the ones that caught fires. This uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries are not that prone to catching fire. So I see the hazard as almost zero. Sensitivity to cold, uh, already at plus 10 degrees Celsius, you can experience a drop in power. However, a lot of people report that they have had zero problems with lithium batteries, even below zero degrees Celsius. Now, if you're out in the cold, uh, there's a trick you can do. You can uh, turn the ignition on, put the headlight on and let it be for a couple of seconds. And this will warm the battery up so it has more power to start. Now remember that the CF Moto has all LED lighting, so um, you probably need to have it on for a few more seconds. Well, now it's just up to you to decide if uh, it's worth the extra cost, and you have to weigh the negatives and the positives for lithium battery. I will try these two bikes during 2025, and uh, we'll see how they hold up.